Let us begin at what some might call the end. When we who dwell in the material realm die, our spirits dissolve into the flow of ether and are returned to the ethereal realm. In turn, the restless energy which suffuses that plane streams back into our world, giving rise to new life. Tis as the heavens did decree, the way of all mortal souls. Twixt this world and the next do the ethereal current swirl, bearing the very essence of life. Thus doth the cycle of birth, death and rebirth continue unabated.
What is it? That is one of my ancestors. 30,000 years ago, a ship was launched from the Asgard homeworld, its crew placed in suspended animation. There was a failure in the navigational system and the ship was lost. Through the millennia, it drifted across the empty expanse between our galaxies until it arrived here. We discovered it six months ago. And this is one of its original crew? The only one that was perfectly preserved. He is from a time before our program of genetic manipulation became irreversible. So that's why he's so important. You're hoping his physiology can give you clues to stave off your own genetic degradation. We kept the laboratory in this galaxy to avoid the threat of the replicators. Now we can no longer afford to wait. It is only a matter of time before the Goa will pinpoint our location. I will require your assistance to adapt the stasis pod to the cargo ship's power supply. All right. When we're done, I want you to beam me back to the lab. Jaquan wrote, There is a greater darkness than the one we fight. It is the darkness of the soul that has lost its way. The war we fight is not against powers and principalities. It is against chaos and despair. Greater than the death of flesh is the death of hope, the death of dreams. Against this peril we can never surrender. The future is all around us, waiting in moments of transition to be born in moments of revelation. No one knows the shape of that future or where it will take us. We know only that it is always born in pain. Doctor? Oh, 